I think Vincent T. Lee deserves a video. Reading this article here, Vincent Theodore Lee, 36 year old, and this is in 1963, national chairman of the Fair Play for Cuba Committee, which Oswald was a member of, is the New York mystery man whose correspondence with Lee Harvey Oswald has been impounded by the FBI. Lee, who recently took the Fifth Amendment 78 times before a congressional committee, was the friend and advisor who guided Oswald on many moves down south. He had been corresponding with Oswald for weeks before the assassination of President Kennedy and once considered him, once counseled him in a letter to take special precautions against nosy neighbors. Lee's name, in connection with the letters found in Oswald's effects and the extent of his role as a mentor for Oswald, who was accused of killing the president, have been kept secret by the FBI and Dallas authorities. The new developments were learned Saturday from different agencies of the federal government. The FBI, refusing comment, would not even say whether the Bureau has questioned Lee about his affiliation with Oswald. And as I have noted before, on December 31st, 1962, Vincent T. Lee was in Havana, Cuba. There is evidence that Jack Ruby was in Havana, Cuba. And Lee Oswald According to this uh, postcard, he wrote his brother was out of town around Christmas 1962 and therefore was unable to uh, thank Robert and his wife for a gift they had sent. So we have this interesting coincidence where Vincent T. Lee who at the time of the assassination was the national chairman of the Fair Play for Cuba Committee and who corresponded with Oswald, happened to be in Cuba at a time when Oswald himself might have been in Cuba and Jack Ruby. And this implies a Cuban plot to assassinate the president. To me, it implies that. The FBI had an informant who, uh, I don't know if he's in the Fair Play for Cuba Committee or not, but this is afterwards, but an informant who reported to them on uh, Vincent T. Lee, and he said this, the informant indicated that Lee also related that statements concerning the assassination of President Kennedy by individuals previously active in the FPCC declare that the president was actually assassinated by Dallas police officer Tippett. Also, that one week before the assassination, Patrolman Tippett, the head of the John Birch Society in Dallas, and an unnamed third party, suspected by those by these F, F, these FPCC individuals, as probably being Oswald, were together in Jack Ruby's nightclub. Now, the details of this, whether or not it's true and all that, cannot be determined from the evidence, but. Lee, V.T. Lee, is uh, saying that the word is from FPCC people and named that Tippett shot JFK. Now this is not what Lee told the FBI. The FBI interviewed him after this and he denied any such knowledge, though they didn't ask him specifically about uh, what the informant said. But uh, I think it's good to keep in mind that Lee said this to someone he probably thought was a friend and not to the officials. And some people, not wanting to incriminate, incriminate themselves, might say things to friends that they wouldn't say to officials. And as I have said before, I think Tippett himself was actually shot in Dealey Plaza, not on 10th Street. And I, th I think this mostly because of the puddle of blood that apparently was found uh, in the area of the Black Dogman wall. 
but was covered up by the investigators. And also because of the fact that J.D. Tippett's son, Alan, was in Dealey Plaza at the time of the assassination. And I have a video about that that you can go find if you want to. So I have presented two lines of evidence here which are consistent with the idea that Vincent T. Lee had some sort of a, an involvement with Jack Ruby. And if that were the case, that would lend credibility to the idea that there was a Ruby Tippett Oswald connection based on what I've said here in this video. And there are other indications of that which I have gone over in other videos. That is that uh, Vincent T. Lee had some sort of relationship with Jack Ruby. So it would be helpful to this idea if there was some more evidence that Vincent T. Lee knew Jack Ruby. And there is another Vincent Lee in the story. The FBI was on the ball, investigated the possibility that this Vincent Lee might be the same Vincent T. Lee involved with the FPCC. And I think I'll read this document. Regarding Dallas Airtel to El Paso, 12-12-63, Dallas, 12-19-63, regarding Vincent Lee, former head of the AGVA, Dallas, Texas. So there's a Vincent Lee who was head of the actor's well, I don't know what all those letters stand for, but he represented entertainers, some of whom performed for Jack Ruby. The FBI gives a description here of Vincent T. Lee. And then after that description, it says, Photo of Vincent Theodore Lee is available in the files of the New York office. There's no mention of this photo having been sent to Dallas or to El Paso which would have been a good idea if you're trying to find out if this other Vincent Lee is the same guy. But it says after that, El Paso teletype to Dallas, 12-19-63, reflects that Vincent Lee, former branch manager, AGVA Dallas, Texas, was interviewed 12-19-1963 by El Paso office and admitted business relationship with Ruby between 1953 and 1955. He denied any connection with the FPCC. In view of above, Vincent Theodore Lee, subject of security investigation by New York office, does not appear to be identical with Vincent Lee interviewed by the El Paso office. No insert being forwarded to Dallas. Alright, so I find this very interesting because there's a photo of Vincent Theodore Lee from the FPCC but it was not provided to El Paso. There's a description of v Vincent T. Lee provided in this document. I don't know if it was provided to El Paso. So it seems to be a very poor or very poorly reported investigation at least whether the investigation was poor or not. That is we don't have it explicitly stated that this is not the same person which could be done with a photograph or which could be done with there being two descriptions, one of each man. But they only have a description of one man here and that's the one that, that we've already been talking about and not of this other one that had to do with the Actors Guild in Dallas who knew Jack Ruby. So because this is such poor quality documentation of the investigation, it makes me suspicious that the FBI is covering up a relationship here and that perhaps the Vincent Lee who knew Jack Ruby in Dallas in the 1950s is the same Vincent Lee who came to be the national chairman of the Fair Play for Cuba Committee. But I can't prove that. We do have this Dallas police document which which I got from the Portal to Texas History website in which uh, Dallas uh, homicide detective H.M. Moore wrote 
Detective Lavelle received a call from an unknown woman who identified herself as a stripper and said that she heard that Oswald was connected with a man by the name of Lee. She said that she knew a Vincent Lee, a Chinaman, who used to be head of the strippers union and is now somewhere in California. All right, this is an unknown witness. So this could be anybody. This could be somebody from the FBI calling, for all we know, saying that the Vincent Lee that Jack Ruby knew in Dallas was a Chinaman. And apparently Vincent T. Lee of the FPCC was not a Chinaman. So if this information is correct, it would seem to prove that we have two different Vincent Lees in the story here. One who knew Jack Ruby in Dallas in the 1950s, and a different Vincent Lee who headed the FPCC in 1963. And yet the FBI document, which relates uh, the results of their investigation as to whether these are two different people, doesn't mention the fact that Vincent Lee, who knew Jack Ruby, was a Chinaman. I think it would have been easy enough for them to say so. Of course, the fact that they didn't say so doesn't mean that he wasn't. But it makes me suspicious that this is a uh, this is covering up the fact that um, Vincent Lee was an old friend of Jack Ruby's. And if that had become known, then uh, a lot more people would have uh, thought that was a little too coincidental to be coincidence. I went looking for information about the Dallas Vincent Lee, and I did find references to him, but no photographs and no indication that he was or was not a Chinaman. So Vincent T. Lee remains a mystery to me. I don't know whether he's the same one who knew Jack Ruby in Dallas. I'm suspicious that he might have been, but I really can't say one way or the other. And I think probably more likely than not, they're not the same man. But I'm still not sure about it, and I don't think I ever will be.